So to start off, I spray my face with the Jason Wu um, Priming Spray. I also use the Kat Von D Primer and I go in with the Sandra Deluxe Body Gleam Radiant Primer as well. And I just spread it all over my face just to really, really prime my face for this look. And then I go in with my brow pencil from Kiko Cosmetics and I start to try to fill in my eyebrows, but then I switch to the Benefit Cosmetic um, pencil right after. I then go and clean up my eyebrows with the Urban Decay Concealer, and you can see there I'm just carving them out, and I blend that in with my Stamp Beauty Blender just to get it all smooth there. Next, I am priming my eyes with the Urban Decay Priming Potion. And I realized the thing with these primers is that you really have to make sure that it dries completely. Sometimes I get a little bit antsy and I try to do the look, but please, please, please just make sure that it really, really dries so that your eyeshadow does not crease. And I start off with putting in a taupe um, color for my crease. It was some color from... Um, Sephora. I'm not too sure what the name is, but I'll make sure I put it down into the description box. And as you can see, I'm just lightly putting in my crease as a transition color for later on. Next, I go into the corners of my eyes with the color Beverly. Um, it's part of the K-pop collection from um, ColourPop. I just go in and I really um, make sure I really deepen the color and then I do this a few times even off camera so um, it does take more than one swipe if you want to say to get that color to intensify. I then go on my lid with the ColourPop Eyeshadow Seeker, and this is just going to help bring out the color that I'm going to put on the top, which is from Urban Decay, and it's just going to be a brighter color from the one that I'm putting on right now. Using the Urban Decay Electric Palette, I go and spread Jilted all over my lid. I really actually enjoy this palette. Um, I know it was a hit or miss, but I felt like the colors were definitely very smooth and very blendable. And again, I'm just going to go in and blend, 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 blend. I am using the brush that I use for my transition color in order to blend uh, everything together and seamlessly. 
you can use a clean brush if you want. However, I really like to uh, make sure I still get that transition color in there. I then go on to my brow bone with, I forgot the color, but it's from the um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. And after spreading that all over, I again blend, 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 blend. <laughs> For my foundation, I am using the Kiko Cosmetics 2-in-1 Concealer Foundation. I actually really, really enjoy this foundation. Even though it is very sheer, it's also very, very, very buildable. And um, it doesn't crease or really cause too much shine. I have combination with my skin. So throughout the day, I didn't really have to uh, touch up. Getting engaged is like getting uh, is the first hill of the roller coaster.
this is my finished look. Uh, if you liked it, then thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. If you didn't, then it's okay. Maybe next time, you know, you'll be feeling me a little bit more. But otherwise, 